it's your intern Lauren here. Today I'm going to bring you this great DIY to make a headband holder. And it's very simple, all you need are a few materials and you have a nice piece to put in your bathroom, your closet, your bedroom, anywhere that you hold your headbands and it makes a really nice decorative piece and um, I think it's pretty cute so I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first step in making this do-it-yourself headband holder is to gather your materials. So what you need is an empty oatmeal can, some spray adhesive, a candle holder, some beads if you would like to embellish your headband holder, and your favorite scrap of paper. Next you're going to want to measure your paper to go around the oatmeal can. How you want to do this is to take the edge of your paper and to put it around the lip of your oatmeal can and just roll it around. And as you can see, it's, some of it's sticking up, so I'm going to want to make a mark and then cut this extra piece off. And also you can see that I'm going to need another sheet of my scrap of paper. Okay, so once you measured your paper, you're going to want to cut it. I already started cutting mine, so I'm going to finish up here. And then to measure your other each piece of paper, you can just set it up against this one that you just cut, and it will make it easier. Like so. Here's my bigger sheet. Take it, line it up, and then I'm going to take my scissors. Go ahead and cut this one the same way. It doesn't have to be too perfect since it will get on the bottom of your can, but try to get it as straight as you can. Okay, so now that I have my two sheets of paper, I'm going to want to take my oatmeal can again, and I'm going to want to see how much of the second sheet of paper I'm going to need. So go ahead and measure that, and then work on that. Okay, so now that I've cut my first sheet of paper to the right size of my oatmeal can, I notice that I have a little bit of space left over on my actual oatmeal can, so I'm going to need to cut a second sheet of paper. So to do that, I'm going to take my pen, and I'm going to mark where the white space is so that I can measure it on my second sheet of paper. And you want to cut your second sheet of paper a little bit longer so that it can overlap under it and so you won't so make sure you won't have any white space left over. So I'm putting my first sheet down, take my second sheet. And you can just measure it like this. Line it up on this first line, go over until you see the second one. And then you can make a mark on your paper and cut it with your scissors like we did on the first one. Okay, so now that I measured out my small piece of paper, um, I want to stick it to my oatmeal can now so that the bigger one will overlap it and there won't be as many seams to see. So we have already measured out our oatmeal can, so all you're going to need is to take your spray adhesive and you're going to spray the oatmeal can between the two marks that you made, and then we can stick down the small sheet of paper. So like this. Now take your small sheet of paper, measure it up between the two lines, make sure you get it nice and tight under the lid, there's a little lip, and be careful because this stuff, when it sticks, it sticks. And we have our first panel on it. Okay, so now we're going to want to spray the rest of it and put on the bigger sheet of paper that we cut first. So now you have a beautiful oatmeal can covered in scrapbook paper to hold your headbands. And I'll show you how to embellish it in a minute. Yeah, so here's what it should look like. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the paper on the oatmeal box and you made sure it was all secured down with extra glue, we're going to take the beads and I was thinking of putting them on the top of here. 
around it like this. So to do that, you're going to want to measure your circumference with your beads, and then take your scissors and cut it, and then we're going to use some glue to fasten down a couple of the beads so that it'll stick. So once you measured it, take your scissors, cut it, and then you'll have the beads that will wrap around your pumpkin holder perfectly. And then take some glue, just glue it down. If you need super glue, that works fine too. Um, so yeah. Okay, so after you get your beads onto your headband holder, you're going to want to start putting headbands on them. Um, I started with the chunkier ones so that it'll hold the smaller ones from falling off. This is our Shelly Flexible Head Rub in Silver, which you can find all these and more at TotalBettySociety.com. Okay, so after you put this one on, you can put the Dawn Head Wrap, which is this purple with silver and black beading on it. You're just going to want to fit it around like this and let it fall. And you can arrange them to make them look pretty. And fold them in so that you have room for your other ones. And the next one I have is this Tina head wrap, which is like the Dawn one, but it has gold embellishments on it. So again, you're just going to want to slip it over. And so you can put them on display so that when you're getting ready in the morning, you can quickly see which headbands you have. They aren't sitting getting all tangled in a drawer and they're on display and it makes your house really pretty. Um, another headband that we have is called the Bethany Stretch Headband. This one is all beads and embellishments and it's mostly gold. So fit that over. That looks really nice. And um, we have this other one, which is called our Sh Allison Gold Stretch Headband. So this one's very sparkly. I like this one. And again, put it over. And sits nice and snug with all these other ones. You can easily see all the ones that you have. Another one that we have is called the Julie Stretch Headband. It kind of has a bluish gray tint with some silver beads in it. And these are all backed in velvet, which is, sits really nice on your head. Um, like the one you can see on me, it won't move or anything. You can dance all night, do whatever you want. It's really comfortable, it won't snag your hair. They're just really nice ideas. And the last one that I wanted to show you guys was this Renee stretch headband, um, which is the one I'm actually wearing. This one is called the Woodstock stretch headband. Um, it's just a gold chain. It's very low key but cute at the same time. So here we go. Here's my pimped out um, do-it-yourself headband holder. And you're going to want to take your candle holder and actually put this on top of it. And it will sit nice and securely because there's some weight in it. And as a bonus feature, because this is an oatmeal can, you can open this up and stick anything you, anything you want into it. Um, if you have little trinkets, any kind of clips in your hair that you want to put, this is a good place to put them. So easy storage, great piece to have in your bathroom. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you come back to Total Betty Society's YouTube channel to check out more videos. Thank you.